this was the first expression that I was like, I'm gonna burn here. All, you know, like desert, 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 desert. And I was like, what? What is this? <laughs> Where are all these, you know, like the, the towers, the beautiful places, it's just desert and the road and nothing else. Hey guys, welcome to Oxy Vlogs. It's been a long time. I posted my last video, but now I am back. As you know, Dubai is a very popular tourist destination. That's why many people are looking for a job in hospitality here. Currently, I live in the hotel. That's why I decided to interview one of the employees and ask him about her experience. Let's go! Can you introduce yourself in a couple of words? My name is Nuri. Nuriza. Nuri, my full name is Nurizad, but everyone calls me Nuri because it's really difficult here for everyone to remember my name. And um, where am I from? I'm from Kyrgyzstan, originally from Kyrgyzstan. So yeah, I came here 19, so it's, it, it's been one and a half years that I'm here. Is it the first experience of living abroad? Well, let's say I've been living in Russia before, if it counts as an abroad, but yeah, it's, it is first experience and also like uh, with an English, with in a different language. Yeah, it is. What did you do before you came to Dubai and why you decided to come here? It's a good question. So I've been living, as I told you already, I've been living in Russia for a long time and I, I, um, I was working as a yoga instructor and also in a yoga studio before. Uh, in Yekaterinburg and then it was just five years I've been staying in the same place without any changes because it was a really like a yoga studio and there was nothing else to do and also one reason is because it was really cold there so I just decided to change uh, um, the place where it could be warm but when I came here it was really hot it was um, summertime so yeah this is the reason what was your first impression when you arrived? Uh, when I arrived, it was, as I told you, because it was in Yekaterinburg, it was May months. And in May it was still, you know, like snow. It was still cold and snow. Yeah, it was. I was expecting that it's going to be like warm, but I didn't expect that it's going to be hot, like really hot. And I also wear, you know, like just um, long sleeve clothes with the trousers. And when I just came out from the airport, this was the first expression that I was like, I'm gonna burn here, okay? And I didn't have any clothes to change at the same time because everything was packed in my bag. And uh, yeah, and then the person from the company, he met us, he took us, me and my friend, so we met with her as well at the airport. And he took us, and it was around like 40 minutes, I guess, till our accommodation and all, you know, like desert, 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 desert. And I was like, what? What is this? <laughs> Where are all these, you know, like the, the towers, the beautiful places, it's just desert and the road and nothing else. So yeah. And, um, and also he took us and dropped us in the desert, in the middle of the desert. So our accommodation is um, almost in the middle of the desert. But now it's getting better because they have, um, again, new towers, new buildings, just building. But it, yeah, this, <laughs> this was the first expression. What challenges did you face? I wouldn't say that it's challenges, but again, with weather, I guess, um, because it wasn't what I expected here. I just, I was expecting it's gonna be warm, but not 50 degrees or 40 even. First of all, when I arrived, I was like, um, I didn't really love downtown, okay? Because it, it looked for me too, like too perfect. It's uh, like a video game, for example, yeah. But about challenges, I guess it was just the weather and oh, at the beginning, because I didn't have any experience like that I was, that I um, talk English with anyone. It was just, you know, like maybe practicing with my teachers sometimes again, once a week. Yeah, I was so scared, so scared to say any word. And everyone thought that I'm super quiet girl here, that I don't talk to anyone. It was just, um, the barrier, language barrier, I guess. Yeah, this was a challenge, really. What was your first job in Dubai? Um, uh, first job in Dubai, so it's uh, hospitality. So it's gonna be 
It was here. It was. <laughs> It's a Vida Emirates Hilfe Hotel, so in hospitality. And by the way, it was my first experience in hospitality, in a hotel itself. So, um, as a GSA, guest service agent, as a front desk uh, receptionist. So, how I find it? I found it through the agency in Russia. So, uh, I just sent well, actually my CV for a hostess. Okay, it will start it from hostess because I really wanted to change a place. And uh, I sent my CV. And after half year, they, they uh, sent me an email that there is a hotel who is hiring a lot of stuff, like whole stuff for the hotel. And uh, I went there for an interview, all was good. And uh, well, and then I met one guy who came as a recruiter as well. And he said like, mm, what, which uh, like position are you looking for? And even if my CV was hostess, I said, uh, I would like to go as GS. <laughs> and he's like, do you have any experience? I'm like, no, I don't have, but I want to go as a GS. I don't care. <clears throat> and he said, okay, you can try, but without experience, they will not hire. Okay. That was like, you know, like with 100% of uh, confidence, I just went in uh, with CV um, of hostess. And uh, the GM of the hotel, he was interviewing us. And we just, he is super simple and he's super, I don't know, talkative person, like I, I would say, yeah. And the, the, the questions we talk about, it was just about like, mm. do you miss your country? Uh, do you miss your national food? All this stuff, you know, like he, of course he asked also like questions about uh, my experience and etc. But mostly it was just five minutes, maybe not even more. And he said, okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's it. Did you try to find a job as a yoga instructor? That time, no, because as I told you, I wasn't good in English, first of all, and I wasn't sure that uh, they're gonna hire me because I don't have, I didn't have also the international certification because I mean, license with Russian, I cannot work here. No. Did you get any additional benefits besides your salary? Yeah, so of course we do have accommodation. It depends on the grade, for example, for each person. Uh, a grade depends on uh, what position you're working in, so designation. Yeah, we do have accommodation um, included in the food, for example, what else? Transportation, all this stuff, and visa, tickets. If people want to find a job in hospitality, what would you recommend them to do and where to look for a job? Well, again, if it's in a different country, so I, 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 yeah, I would offer to again to come with the agencies because it's more safe. It's an easier, easiest way to find a job in other countries. I mean, in a, in a hospitality in an other, another country. And again, if you're staying in Dubai or in the country in what you would like to find a job, so then uh, there is a lot of websites, for example, <laughs> with vacancies. Yeah. Did you pay anything to the agency? It was a Russian company, I guess everyone knows about it. So usually they hire um, stuff for uh, different uh, companies, like for hotels, for hospitality, even for Emirates uh, Airlines, I guess they do it. So yes, they usually ask for money, but also it depends on the vacancy. Uh, there are some vacancies which are uh, not chargeable and for which you have to pay. Mostly for hospitality, as I understood, they charge. So it's around like 100, 150 dollars maybe. Yeah. Today is your last day at your current job. Where are you going now? So yes, um, today is my last day. Yeah, which is really good. And again, it's a little bit sad because uh, I really get used to this place, to all the guests, to all my staff, colleagues, place, it's beautiful, but again, I have to move forward, right? So yeah, as uh, I wanted, I just found a job as a yoga teacher, my, let's say my dream job for now. <laughs>
say uh, Vida itself, like Vida brand itself, I like it more because the, I mean, I had offer maybe to move to address, but I don't like address because it's five star and everything, you know, it should be perfect. And I'm not a person who, <laughs> who is all about the perfection. So here it's more um, simple, first of all, and it's more about people. So yeah, also about service as well, but about the people more so you can meet a lot of different people and you're free to talk. It's not only about like, uh, yes sir, ma'am, or something else. What challenges did you face while working in hospitality? Again, we're working with people, right? We can meet a lot of different people. So yeah, I mean, I faced a lot of different um, <laughs> situations here. <laughs> it depends on the person. If you are really good in a, in a communi like communication with people, so it, it will be really easy for you even to handle the, the situation. But you're, if you're not, I mean, not interested even, or I don't know, if you're not the type who likes to talk with people, right? So it's gonna be really difficult because again, uh, I had a colleagues who just uh, worked maybe for three months and they left because it was hard just to handle people. And uh, again, it's again providing the service, so. Finally, you managed to get a job as a yoga instructor. How did it happen? Okay, so during my, like, all this time when I was working in the hotel, I tried to, I was trying to actually to take some uh, private classes outside as well with people. And the best time for me was, you know, like the quarantine, this quarantine is a, is a really, uh, was hard, but again, it was the beginning of everything for me because I had enough time. I had, um, yeah, first of all time. And also my friend, um, she, was always with me and you know like encouraging every time like you have to do it you can do it you know like to supporting me every time and I just started uh, we just started doing yoga every morning because there was nothing to do else right and we was locked in our accommodation and now we're to go I started making also videos you know like posting on Instagram and putting all these hashtags like yoga Dubai or something else and uh, making some uh, posts about yoga as well and uh, well it worked uh, people just started uh, like messaging me, are you doing like private classes and all this stuff. And then uh, uh, on the end of the quarantine, before the opening of the hotel, I already had like almost three or four, four clients who was doing yoga. So that time before the reopening the hotel, so it, we were three months, right? In the quarantine, like the strongest one which it was really locked down and later it when it opened when it was allowed to go out till 11 I guess so yeah I was taking yoga classes and then when I was uh, good at yo in, in yoga in English that I was ready to teach in English so I just decided to uh, take a license so I could work here. I started my online courses and I, when I, I was done with my license, I just started sending everywhere, just CVs, you know, because after the quarantine, there was so many, so many vacancies, like everywhere, not only yoga. So I decided that it's time to change, like, yeah, and uh, it happened. <laughs> what advice would you give to those who are planning to come to Dubai? Just make sure that you really want to move here. Maybe just to uh, search more information about this place, if you would like to stay here or not, for how long, about the weather <laughs> and about the rules, because sometimes it's really difficult here, right? And um, that's it, and just come if you want to come. What about skills? Skills? Oh, come on. I mean, um, so many people just come here without any skills and also... I mean, even uh, here uh, at the restaurant, we have some people who didn't speak any English. It was just a little bit, so just to say, you know, hi, bye, and what would you like to have, some, all, all this stuff. But later, when you are in, inside of this, so you will just quickly learn the language. If your friend was planning to move to Dubai, what is the minimum monthly budget would you advise to have? 
It again depends on where, where, what are you gonna do. For example, if it is in hospitality, as long as your accommodation and food and transportation is covered. So uh, maybe, okay, maybe you can just keep some, I don't know, um, 400, 500 dollars, it's gonna be enough because everything you have, you just need maybe because when I was moving, uh, I was just, you know, like I didn't take all these basic things as dental kit, as a shampoo, all this stuff. So that's why I just needed this money. But again, uh, while you're moving, you will need at least one month just to uh, get used to this place, to your work, you know, and then you start exploring because again, you will need your energy and time, right? Because it's something new for you. Do you miss your home country and what do you wish to have here? Um, Sometimes I feel that I yeah miss my country because for now, for example, I'm just uh, I'm a person who really loves New Year, you know, this um, holidays, and there is no snow. Uh, <laughs> I really want a snow, and also uh, food. I really miss food. And also when you work, uh, for example, for me, I don't have a kitchen. I don't have an opportunity to cook. I'm not able to. So yeah. The food is most important. <laughs> what will make you go back home? Nothing. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not about what will make me. I just, if I feel that it was enough for me in this country, maybe I will go home. But I don't have any plans for now to go back. <laughs> yeah, I would like to just finish all my plans here, first of all, and then maybe for vacation. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If it was useful, please don't forget to support me with your likes and follow me on Instagram where I share my daily stories. See you soon. Bye bye.